Always remember the power of humor. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests, and most importantly, David, thank you for a wonderful speech. What I really, really enjoyed about your speech is that you smashed the opening. You demonstrated the power of vocal variety. Would you agree? Yes. Yes, yeah. yes absolutely. This alternation between this pleasant, soft voice and the loud, nasty person on the other end of the line. It was a captivating opening. So that was wonderful. You then went on to a more conversational tone. And I like the, you have a pleasant voice. And you need to bring your, uh, your vocal variety to a baseline, I think. From there, you can, people, the audience can detect the faster pace, the slower pace. So you have to come back, in my opinion, to a baseline, which is your conversational tone. So you're always talking fast, rapid fire. <clears throat> Where's the variety in that, right? So fantastic. Um, what I really personally appreciate about your speeches are your use of humor. I mean, at the end of the day, we are here entertaining. And you delivered a message, an important message, and you did it with humor, and you leveraged vocal variety, and together you kept us entertained. Nobody was bored, nobody tuned out. This is very, very important, I think, in communication. Now, what could we do better? Well, this is speech six. So, I think you're done fantastic. You're moved away from the podium. Right? You only had a very casual use of your notes. Speech six, fantastic. But the tough question is always, what can you do better? Well, the next step is you know, more body language, right? These are all tools that you use. Vocal variety, humor, body language together. As you incorporate them, you become that much better as a presenter. So that would be my only comment. A little bit more body language, but fantastic job. And of course, um, to end my comments, your strong close. I loved your humor. You nailed the beginning and you nailed the close. Thank you so much, David, for a wonderful speech.